Folks, I'm showing you a Google uh, Earth map here of a cemetery. This is called Spruce Pine Memorial Cemetery. This is called Burleson Hill in Spruce Pine, Highway 226. I'm going to show you this video I'm getting ready to share with you. It's kind of interesting. I wanted to show this to you. Um, I think I was parked right here shooting this video. I'm going to back out and show you what I was shooting. Uh, we're going to back out. We're going to see the little town of Spruce Pine here in a minute. And this is Spruce Pine. This is the downtown and all. Uh, this is a hospital where I work. I actually work in a little building right along in here on Broad Street, I think, right here. But this is the hospital where I work. Anyway, Spruce Pine, and back up here is what I was shooting at the other day. Uh, it was uh, at a, during a lunch break, and these are the mines where my dad used to work. My dad used to work in a thing called the Mineral Research Laboratory, MRL, which I think is one of these buildings right here. I'm not sure exactly, which might be this one, actually. And the reason I'm showing you this is Spruce Pine is this place where I grew up. I actually grew up in a place called Little Switzerland, just south and west of here, a little higher in elevation. But this is one of the most significant mines in America. And I don't want to uh, overstate this. I just want people to understand this is like crazy cool mine. So what comes out of here? Well, it's feldspar, but also probably the highest grade quartz that is available in the United States. And these mines are extensive. Uh, I, when I was in college, I worked in, in uh, I didn't work in the mines, I worked crushing barrels where this, this the material from here is, was floated off. And so um, it, what happens, all the, the, the raw materials come down out of the hills with these huge trucks and they're brought into these places here. And there are different kinds of acids and flotation uh, chemicals and things that are brought in here and, and the, the, the raw materials are crushed, 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 super fine and then floated uh, off in different layers because they're treated with acids and the acids will pick up certain uh, layers of rock and float them off and then other layers of rock will have maybe caustic soda or something. This is back, this is where the uh, materials are then, the, the waste from all this is treated. Uh, so this is, it's a very interesting, interesting place to me. Um, and, I, and what I was going to say is I did go up here some when I was in college. This is back in the 80s, 1986 or 85, somewhere along in there. And these things, folks, are like 800 feet deep. They, they were back then. I have no idea how. I mean, I don't even remember if it was this mine that we went and looked into. My buddy and I just went down, down, down. It was unbelievable. This is an incredible. So where, where does all the silica and stuff go? Uh, well, I'm going to show you the video where I shot and showing you what it looks like from the cemetery. Um, but then, and by the way, it was super windy up there. I could barely stand. The wind was blowing so hard and it was so cold. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the Uniman website. Hang on one second. So this is the Uniman website uh, of the, the people that do this. And this is a very uh, well-established, very well-established um, mining company in the United States. And if you go and you want to find out about them, you can see where their locations are. And there's an interactive map here. And you can see... The Bakersville uh, plant in Spruce Pine. This is where I. This is where I'm from, and they have these plants all over and down into Mexico and everything. But let's close here and let's go into the products. Here we go. So here we go. We can see what it is. This is the thing that, of course, feldspar comes out of the mines up there. And it tells you here that feldspar can be used in a lot of things: ceramic wares, electrical porcelain, all types of glass and fiber insulation. But here is what is the gold. High purity quartz, and it even says, high purity quartz human mines a coarse grained granite rock unit into spruce pine intrusive suite to produce high purity quartz. Unique deposit in mineralogy and proprietary technologies yield ultra pure grades with total impurity levels measured in parts per million. So what, what happens here? Solar cells, semiconductor chips, and quartz lighting applications. So folks, this material here, and my dad used to call it quinus quartz. I'm not sure exactly how that's spelled, but he was there when they were first refining this and, and doing this back in, I guess, maybe the late 70s and early 80s. And so this is what has made our semiconductor chips for computers and for fiber optics and stuff like that. This is the raw material that the whole world wants, and it's all based in this weird hole in the middle of spruce pine in the, in, you know, in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. So there are other places that this takes place, but the video I'm going to show you is, is that. This, I think, is Chalk Mountain here. Maybe I'm wrong. 
It's been a while since I looked because there are other places where you can see these holes in the mountain. I was trying to see if I could find some more. I think that is maybe the main one here. This is an old mine that was there for a long time. It looks like it still has stuff there, and I think they still mine somewhat there. But this is where the purest uh, quartz and best feldspar and stuff comes from in America. So I thought I'd share that with you, show you some more of the video. Uh, like I said, I stand in there. Maybe someday I'm going to see if my dad still has some connections that can uh, let me go in here and shoot down into some of these holes, see if there's a guy that might let me explain to you more about how cool this this is. It's it's absolutely fascinating place to visit. Uh, and I, I doubt if they'd let anybody in there unless they were someone that had sort of an inside track. I was going to let you see how just how massive this is. I see this might be one of the trucks. I think it is. So this truck here, folks, uh, and look at this. Here you can see there's a big, huge track hoe, it looks like, by the shadow. This truck is, I'm going to guess, probably longer than a bus. And as the tires on these trucks are usually about eight or nine feet tall. They're taller than a man standing up. So that is how massive these trucks are. Here's, it looks like maybe another one. Look down here. Here's some regular size cars. And I'm going to back out and you can see just how extensive the mine uh, system is there. Pretty cool place in Mitchell County, Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Hope you've enjoyed that little bit of mineral education. All kinds of minerals from that area. In fact, Spruce Pine is called the Mineral City. And uh, the whole area there is, is famous for all kinds of different gemstones and things. You get topaz, uh, garnets, emeralds, uh, sapphires, um, I'm trying to think what aquamarines, and then just all kinds of other different uh, stones and all you can find. Those are just the precious and semi-precious stones you can find in this little crazy area. Peace to all who watch. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I will try to get there and shoot down in that hole sometime soon. Go read about feldspar. Read about uh, the quartzes and things that come from Mitchell County, North Carolina.